originally I got into the actual sailing because at Newport Harbor Yacht Club we had a huge fleet and we'd go out every day and sail off the Olympic Circle and that sort of petered out and I was out of the class for several years and then a friend of mine says hey we're going to back into the class because we were I was down there in Miami sailing my Melgus 24 and these huge fleets of Etchels were out there. I go, wow, this is incredible. And they just look so old fashioned. I'm like, I can't do that. So then I finally got talked into it and, and did it. It still looked old fashioned, you know, because you're used to these blunt boat, blunt bow boats, and this is a kind of long overhang. So sails just like, uh, as Judd Smith says, sails like a meter boat. The one thing I'm, I'm impressed about this boat is the build quality is incredible. The, uh, the attention to detail is incredible. So I, I think it has to do how fast the boats go upwind. It is all about the uh, foils. So there's very little tolerance in the foils, but the good guys pick out where the tolerances are and max, you know, max out the, uh, the benefit of the tolerances. It's a combination of uh, uh, head stay length and uh, mass butt location and uh, the amount that you restrict your mast at the partners, like right here, and there used to be a big step block in there. Now they've uh, allowed a mast ram that's controlled at the console. So uh, you, can you, can, you can make the mast fit the shape of the main. So in light air, you'd have more ram forward. As the wind builds up, you have more ram aft. And so that, that seems, and the more ram aft, you get the tighter head stay. The, leech opens up and you can sheet in the jib a little bit tighter. So it's all that uh, sort of blend. And then the, the next uh, step is, um, of course, having, a, having great matrix, right? So you can, you can go back to base whenever you want because it can get so confusing. And then we have, bat and we, have, we have two jibs that we can sail with in a regatta. So we have usually a light jib and a medium jib. Or like in cows, we had a light jib and a heavy jib. Um, and each jib, has, uh, you can uh, select your battens up and there's three battens in each jib, top, medium, and bottom, and you can, can select your batten, um, uh, how flexible they are. Every time we come home and get back to that, we always put everything back to base, mast butt, head stay, side shrouds. So uh, that's those little things. And then we'll go out and uh, if, we, if it's just like the normal six to eight to 10, we'll just start out at base. And uh, we'll just go from there. And if the uh, side shrouds, either the caps, well the caps especially, if they're a little too loose, we'll try to get them so they're just not tight, but just not flapping around. So that's the first thing. And then we adjust, then we look the mass side to side, and then we adjust the uh, lowers to make the mass as straight as possible. This is the jib halyard, jib tack, and uh, this is the uh, fine, fine. This is the gross jib sheet, the uh, the fine-tuned jib sheet. Uh, I don't know what this is. Honestly, yeah, it's something.